Hello everyone and welcome back to our XCOM Enemy Within series. Let's take a look at the soldiers we have uh, so far. We have Hades Flames, you are in Assault, and I think I have you set up the way you were in our original XCOM Let's Play. I think that's the helmet that you had before. Um, so let me just tell you this, I'm recording this before I've had any chance to receive any um, instructions on what you want your characters to look like, so I've just given everybody generic helmets for now and generic colors uh, so again let me know what you want your characters to look like if you care about that uh, we have Justin Hines here as a support we have David as a sniper we have Ludo as our heavy I believe the original Ludo in the XCOM series was a heavy I, I think all actually all Ludos were um, we have Slang as just a squatty for right now Alyssa uh, let's see, Cyan 1166 and Monkey Mark Mario. So, um, everybody else in this list on my starting team were all females, so I didn't. I, I forgot to mention this. If you would like your character to be female or male, you should probably specify that too, because right now I've just been kind of guessing based on the names you gave me uh, if you're male or female, so let me know. Uh, we currently have, let's see, one, two, four female slots open. And I will be recruiting new soldiers in the future. But right now, that is our uh, starting lineup. So let's get out of that, and we will go to Mission Control. And scan for activity. Alright. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the Hollow Globe. Four scientists, $200, or four engineers. Uh, hmm. I think at this point I'd rather have the scientists and the engineers, but which one do I want? Uh, I'm leaning towards this one because it's also easy, and I plan to put all of the uh, squaddies. I don't even know if they're considered squaddies at this point. Basically, everybody doesn't have a class uh, on the on this mission, so probably easy would be the best thing to start with. Okay. I totally forgot. Everybody has additional inventory slots now, don't they? Or maybe they don't. Do they? Maybe not yet. Maybe that's an upgrade. But I'm pretty sure everybody in this game can eventually get two inventory slots. So that's going to be huge. Uh, let's see. Let's take all of you out. Because like I said, I want to try and get our non-assigned players here. Okay, because none of these people have any kind of class and so I want to try to get that taken care of as fast as possible. I do have one med kit and I believe Slang and Cyan were both um, supports in our last series so let's actually give it to Slang. There you go, Slang, you got a med kit. And let's let's do this. Let's hope we don't lose anybody on the first mission, huh? <laughs> that would suck. Oh, that would suck. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Begin assault. Our target site is near the German border. Neutralize all hostile targets and get meld. Major nice, area. a new map. Get down there and eliminate any how, you know how many times I played, or probably all of us played, the original XCOM. How many times you saw those maps going uh, through the one. This missions? Is this is awesome to see new to maps. All hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. All right, so we have two meld containers in this map. I wonder if you kill all. That's gonna suck. If you kill all the aliens and the map ends, then you don't get to collect the ones you didn't get? Hmm. That's unfortunate if that's the way it happens. Okay, let's... Man, I don't even know, because I don't know this map. Let's move this way. Let's get uh, Melissa here up here. Move Cyan up. Move Mario. Aye, aye. And sling. Get you into full cover. OK. 
Okay, we didn't hear anything. I think that sound effect means there's meld. But I have no idea where it's going to be at, so let's keep moving up. Aye, aye, Still no sight, and this is the edge of the map. Okay. Let's move Mario up next to this door. I guess we technically can't see inside yet. Okay. Room looks clear. <laughs> uh, doesn't mean it, it is. I guess there probably could technically be aliens over here in the corner. I think I want to get two people in here. Location confirmed. Right, I think we'll breach that room next turn. And next turn we will move Slang up here as well. I guess we're just going to kind of go up this way. We'll move Cyan at this flank, Slang up there, and these two in the middle. So for now, Slang which is Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Alright. I don't think we're alone out here. Alien activity. Ah, okay. Meld over here. Good to know. I kind of wonder why they draw that line. Like, why would our people know that there's a meld over there? Maybe they just hear it, I guess? Okay, let's get Cyan. Actually, first, let's get these two in the room and see what they can see out of these windows. Moving. Hmm. Nothing there. Aye, aye. Aha! Oh my god. All four? <laughs> At the same time? Oh man. Oh man. That was the wrong window to look out of. Alright, so that goes down into a pit? Interesting. Alright, Alyssa. That's okay. Adjusting aim. Cyan. Let's move you first up here, see if there's any additional aliens. I think there would be. Since this is on easy. And we will dash you up here. Try to get you in position to fire down next turn. Slang will move you up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that's fine. I wasn't expecting uh, the French there. I, th I think that was French. I will not move you up there this turn because you won't be able to fire. So instead, I'll just put you on Overwatch up here. Okay, Mario. I guess it's 45% no matter how you look at it. Let's go for this one. And I do see that there is meld. Wait, we only had one turn to recover that? Is that what the one means? Oh my god. It was like six last uh oh. Ooh. No way! I, I did not even notice that. Wow, one turn. Holy crap. That's that's really fast. I thought when we would see we have like six. Oh boy. No, that is not good. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. That's the one I want. Darn it. Damn it. Now the thing is, if I move Slang up here, we're gonna get eyes on that, aren't we? Man, what if that's only one turn to get to? They're still flipping three aliens down there. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of tempted not to move you up, Slang. Because I don't want to reveal that yet. I'm really bummed I lost out on the first one. Ah, crap. Not until we at least kill one more alien. I don't want to reveal that until then. So, we're actually just going to overwatch you. Alyssa, I want you to get eyes on the other one. Let's see if I move you up here. Which is better cover, too. Nope, still can't see that one. Crap. Alright. Missed.
Oh, okay. Well, there's the third alien. Oh my god. Woo! That's, that's close. So yeah, I think they're taking a big hit to their shooting because they're in the uh, pit there. What kind of chance do you have to hit this guy? 72 and 65. If we kill him, we'll kill the other guy too. Curious, can you throw a grenade that far? No. Hmm. I'd rather go for the risk of getting the uh, one shot for two. Come on. There we go. Nice. So the feedback kills the aliens that they're attached to. Alright, Sling, now I feel kinda comfortable putting you up. Ooh, you still haven't revealed it. Alright, you know what, we'll, we'll keep you there. And let's see, he's in full cover, it's gonna be kinda hard to get around that. So, 45% isn't bad. All right, let's move up Alyssa. Headed there now. 54%. <laughs> this is a little off. All right, I think we're going to have to make a run for that uh, that meld. So how are you getting down there? So you gotta jump down that way? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm, I'm actually kind of afraid to kill that alien if we don't get that meld first. Well, you should be able to wear a shot from an alien, but... I'm still gonna put you in full cover. <laughs> One turn? I... I can't even reach it in one turn. Wow, I wonder if they are counting down from the beginning of the game. That has to be what's happened. There's no way they expect me to get that in one turn. Shoot. I thought it was only when we revealed it. I think I was wrong. Oh, well, it's the first mission of the game. These are things you learn. Let's see. Can we get a better angle on that guy if we go over here? I doubt you'll be able to see him from there. You can't see him from here anyway. On my way. You never know, maybe with the way... Ah, you can't see him. Uh, oh well. We'll go for the shot. Dang! Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander. Cool! The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So you automatically recover the meld if you kill everybody. Good to know. Sucks I lost the other one, though. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. I'm just landing. Give me some time. Jeez. Excellent work, Commander. All right, two more promotions. You were able to recover so much of the meld substance without any casualties. Hmm. I was going to say this is crazy because at first I thought Money Mark Mario wanted to be a sniper, and I know that Cyan wants to be a support, and I was like, no way, we actually got the real roles. But um, no, M Money Mark Mario wants to be a heavy, so I may actually have to turn you into another troop, Money Mark. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's continue. At least we got some meld. We can now build a laboratory. We will be in touch, Commander. So let me see here. Who wanted to be a sniper? I'm checking the list here. The next one I have on my list, there are a couple snipers, but... <laughs> Commander She's talking the again. Room. The next one on the list in order is Minimap Officer Shadow wanted to be a sniper. So, Money Mark Mario, we're going to have to assign you to a different person because you said you wanted to be a heavy and I don't have a heavy open right now. But, um, 
We'll get, we'll get you back on the team, no worries. Let's just go to customize. Uh, let's see, first name, we'll do... Minimap. Last name. Am I, I'm gonna have enough spaces here? Officer Shadow? Yep, I guess I do have enough. Okay, so congratulations to uh, Minimap Officer Shadow. You are now a sniper. You got the headshot ability, as you know, all snipers get. And I let me go to Cyan. Uh, Cyan, here you go. You have. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we don't have the choices yet. You get a smoke grenade. Congratulations. Let's go back. Let's go back. And go to the situation room. The council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Thank you. Okay, so how much... Do you have any room for additional satellites? Right, alright, we have one more satellite available that we can get. We're already building a satellite, so that's good. We'll probably put it in one of the countries with the high panic. We wouldn't want to lose them early in the game. That will come later. This is also, in case you don't know, where the gray market Several is. members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. So if you don't know, the gray market is where you can sell off all your weapon fragments, all the corpses you'll get over the course of the game, and there's a lot of other things you can sell in the gray market. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Uh, but the good thing is that they will tell you if this has been used in research or not yet, so you'll know if uh, you should sell them or not. But I'm not going to sell anything right now. It's going to go back, and I think we're going to end the video there. Uh, we did our first mission, we got some upgrades to our soldiers, and actually, let me go into barracks, and let's hire some more soldiers, get some more people here. Let's go with, um, four? For right now? Alright, so we're hiring four additional soldiers. And uh, I think that's going to be it. We're still researching. I only have two days left on the Meld Recombination. I doubt we'll get a mission before then. Cool. Look, it's all meldy. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cybersuit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. XCOM, Enemy Within. <laughs> kind of feels like a trailer right there, the way it was done. <laughs> Alright, so Meld Recombination is uh, complete. Let's assign new research. Oh my god. Cybernetics Lab, Genetics Lab, the Mech One Warden. The hyperreactive pupils, depth perception, adaptive bone marrow, 40 additional meld reconstituted. Alright, so um, I'm not going to read through all of this, at least on you know screen, but feel free to pause the video and read through that if you want to. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of stuff available. Here we will be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits, mechs, huh, and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Interesting. That's cool. And this is the genetically, yep, and that's going to be, yep, yeah, alright, counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. That's also cool. 
Adaptive Bone Morrow. Wound re recovery time is reduced by 66%, which stacks with Rapid Recovery, which is an upgrade you can get from the original game. Soldier regenerates 2 HP per turn up to the max HP without armor. Holy crap. What? What? Your people regenerate wounds? Oh, I guess without armor, so that's not too crazy. Yeah, that's not too crazy. Oh, I mean, it's still kind of crazy, but not too crazy. Depth perception. Height advantage confers additional 5% aim, or 5 to aim and 5% critical chance. There's your uh, snipers there. Hyper reactive pupils. Plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh, God. Alright, a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies. Also boosts mobility. And gets a flamethrower. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, allows the mech to lay waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. Okay. Whoa. Alright, let's... Um, I, don't, I don't even know. Let's do weapon fragments. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Good for you. Alright, engineering... Can we just do these mechs like right off the bat? I assume we probably have to build the facility for them first, right? We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Okay. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So I kind of have to plan this out here. Since the genetics lab and the cybernetics lab give adjacency bonuses, I typically do like um, workshops on one side and labs on the other. Then I also have to worry about these steam vents, because that's going to be a great place to build power for our facility. So I probably want to have... Oh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Because I'm thinking, you also want adjacency bonuses when it comes to your power, um, power generators. And I'm not going to be able to get to the steam one for a little while. Which means I probably want to build a generator right there, right there, and then the steam generator right there, which may be able, enough to power up our entire base. Maybe. And then I could build a cybernetics lab, workshop, workshop. Possibly. And then use this side for like um, the one-off buildings, like the psionics lab. Uh, I think there's a officers building of some sort. So workshops, and we'll start with the cybernetics lab here. We'll probably do the gene here with some laboratories, and then our generators, and then satellite buildings. Oh wait, no wait. There's a satellite building right there. So satellite building, <laughs> satellite buildings in this row. Alright, so let's start with the cybernetics lab. I think we have... Actually, let me, let me go through here. It's kind of like half and half on what people want to be. Um, but in our opening group, we have... One, two, three... Three people who specifically want to be gene soldiers, and only two that want to be mechs. So I think that means... Well, actually, can we just build both? Three power and fifty... Um, Money. Yes, we can. All right, we'll, we'll just build both. See the cybernetics lab. Work crews on their way to begin construction. And the I'll genetics the lab. The new facility is operational. And we will excavate this because that's going to have to be a power generator because we're already almost at max power. So that's what that's going to be, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So that's going to do it for our second episode of XCOM Enemy Within. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.